Thanks, Romaine. And joining me for Options Insight today is Kevin Kelly, CIO of Benchmark Investments. Great to have you with us as always, Kevin. And you know, we have the Dow and the S&P 500 muddling along today, mixed moves, but big outperformance from the NASDAQ, and that largely has to do with that FANG complex really on fire at this point, up eight days in a row, the longest winning streak for uh, that sector, those uh, momentum stocks since 2017, up about 20% over that time period. Before we talk about what you're seeing options-wise, What's behind this buying, and do you think it will last from a fundamental perspective? Yeah, so I think actually not all tech is created equal. So what you're seeing leading in the QQQs and in the NASDAQ 100 is actually the hardware and the software names. Um, you're seeing Apple and Microsoft really outperform because we're going to need more Internet, right, especially in a post-virus world. So if you think about um, every day we need nice, clean, reliable water, well, every day in a post-virus world we're going to need nice, clean, reliable Internet. So that's the way to think about it. We need, we need more digital water. And, it, and so when you look at Facebook and Google, they're actually down on the day because their business models are really predicated on advertising. Hmm, that's a very interesting distinction indeed. So relative to action or options action on the day, the activity that we're seeing there, uh, you're seeing a lot of put buying, a tremendous amount of put buying in the fan complex. Yeah, what's pretty interesting is that if you take the FNG in saying that's Facebook, Netflix, and Google, it actually sits within the S&P 500 communication sector, and we've seen really elevated um, put activity uh, uh, to the tune of 21 times the amount of puts being traded versus calls. And so that's in the main June time frame, and that makes sense because, as we alluded to earlier, not all tech is created equal. So when you think about how the communication sector is down about 11.7% year-to-date, mm-hmm. you go over to the A sector in FANG, which is the tech sector, mm-hmm. that's, on, that's down about half of what the communication sector is. So you see that uh, the, the, the names like a T-Mobile, Netflix, Electronic Arts, a Verizon in the communication sector is going to have to spend a lot more money to compete against each other than the names in the uh, XLK. Well, sticking with the uh, communications theme, and I've got about 20 seconds for you on this, talk to us very quickly on your Crown Castle options trade. Well, I think the way to get into and play this space is we're going to need a lot more infrastructure going forward, especially for Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Dish. So what you can do is you could do a stock replacement strategy where you actually go out to April 2021 um, and buy Crown Castle CCI 140 call for about $32. You, that's your most you can lose on the trade with mm-hmm. a limited upside, especially because they have 65,000 small cells, 40,000 towers and 80,000 miles of fiber that we're going to rely on going forward for communication. Great commentary on the FANG complex. And, of course, sticking with your Crown Castle trade, you've been doing great with that. Kevin Kelly of Benchmark Investments, thank you for joining us from 4 Options Insight. From New York, this is Bloomberg. Bloomberg.